Well, from the leadership side of things, our ability as a school board and as a school division to say, this is what we're part of, it says to our students what we believe in and to our communities. We want to portray that we believe in diversifying the economy, that we believe in uh, renewable energy sources. We're a resource-rich province, but we also know that we need to diversify. And, and we've, I think we all know that at some level, and we want to be part of that. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. 26 school districts representing 500 schools in Alberta are powered by 100% renewable energy and have a wind farm to show for it. Right now we're at the Bull Creek Wind Farm, which is just uh, just north of Provost, Alberta. This, uh, this wind farm is 29 megawatts, which is made up of 17 uh, general electric wind turbines. Back in 2005, when Alberta deregulated its electricity market, a group of rural school districts got together and decided to pool their purchasing power. The consortium basically is, uh, is about 42 school districts who uh, got together in um, about 2005, right after uh, deregulation of uh, the electricity market in Alberta. So instead of each of us actually going out and uh, hiring a consultant and trying to understand the deregulation, the market. So uh, we decided to get together, hire a consultant together, and then uh, go on the market as a group rather than going in uh, individually. Uh, so that's what the consortium is all about, is sharing our resources, sharing costs, and uh, approaching this deregulated market as a, as a group rather than individual. After tons of research and negotiation, the Consumers Purchasing Consortium recommended the 26 school boards enter into a long-term contract to purchase wind power for their 500 schools. Lorne Young is a school trustee with St. Paul Regional Division No. 1. They brought it to the school board as a, as a possible investment as a possible way to get involved in a sustainable energy project um, and also as a way to create some predictability for our, our electrical funding, our costs. Our, as a school division we use a lot of power so if we could get some predictability on the pricing and, and be part of this as a school uh, board we thought it was a good, uh, a good uh, venture to get into. The consortium held a competitive bidding process between nine companies. Blue Earth Renewables, a Calgary-based company, won the bid and built the 29 megawatt Bull Creek wind farm near Provost, Alberta. And a wind farm like this or any other, or in fact many other uh, uh, projects that have a large capital upfront cost uh, are, are funded with um, uh, equity and debt that's based on a long-term uh, delivery of the, the uh, product, in this case the, the wind energy. So the uh, long-term contracts allowed us to get very, very competitive debt on the project, which brought the price of power down, which is key in the whole, uh, the whole scenario. Wrangling 26 school districts together is a challenge, no doubt. But in the end, Blue Earth Renewables built the wind farm and 500 schools are powered by the wind. And even local farmers are involved. David Bloom's farm produces oats, possibly the ones in your oatmeal cereal today. He and his son have a 25-year agreement with Blue Earth to host the turbines, and they also get contract work, clearing snow, and doing work around the wind farm. You have full opportunity to get involved, like, like say my kid someday might be operators of, of this project, and like right now, the, the kids will be taking over probably the snow pine operation of the project too. So. It'll be an ongoing relationship for however many years this project lasts. Like I said, we signed on with a 30-year contract with a 25-year renewable, so that'll outlive me. But, uh, but it's awesome. It's another income source there too. Like I say, we have the farm and we have other investments too. And but uh, this is a, a residual income. It's here no matter if it rains or snows or whatever. So it's good. I think that a, ma a majority of the people on the board like the idea that we're part of a renewable energy project. The initial investment that we make into it over the 25 year period, uh, there will be a dividend paid back that will far exceed what our initial investment is. Um, as I said, the predictability on the, on, the fund, on the cost side of power is a huge thing for us. And the educational value of being part of a renewable energy project and, and we also saw the fact that 
you know what, there's, I believe there's 26 school boards involved in this, and we felt it was a, it was a good fit. So um, in, at the end of the day, it was uh, one of those projects that we just wanted to get behind. David Shepard is MLA for Edmonton Centre. He was at Bull Creek for the opening, and he says this is exactly the kind of project we'll be seeing more of in the future. We have the first wind farm in Canada right here in the province. We've been developing the technology. It's, uh, it's come a long way since it first started out, and certainly has become quite a bit more affordable, much easier to scale up, and so something now where groups can come together, like the school boards here in Blue Earth, to be able to put together a project that's going to save them money and reduce our carbon, carbon footprint. So, as you know, we're moving ahead with our commitment to transition transition Alberta away from coal-fired electricity to 30% uh, renewables and natural gas here in the province. So we're going to be moving completely to a brand new mix. I think as we move forward with that and invest some of the funds that are going to come in through the levy on carbon, we're going to see a lot more of these projects springing up. The school boards say they banded together and used their purchasing power to get 500 schools powered by the wind and to get long-term price stability for the boards. That's it from Bull Creek Wind Farm in the rolling hills of the beautiful Aspen Parkland near Provost, Alberta. For more information, check out our podcast and blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. From Provost, Alberta, I'm David Dodge. Long before some schools started purchasing wind power, the students of Cochrane High School formed the Sustainable Development Committee and raised almost $150,000 to install solar, carry out energy efficiency projects, and they even helped the town of Cochrane develop a renewable energy framework. Check out their amazing story on Green Energy Futures. <laughs>